How am I supposed to look in the mirror every morning if I print this rubbish? You can look at your goddamn shoes for all I care. Then get your ass to the printer, Morris. You sit up here and tell us we can't join a union. What the hell gave you that right over us? Who made you judge and jury over our basic rights? The bread on your table gives me that right. Now I suggest you choose swiftly. Your job or your union. Don't get me wrong, Morris. I'm with you all the way, but how are you going to feed our son? Don't worry. I'm going out to look for work this evening. We want to be all right. How can he treat us like this? After all the decent work you've done for him over the years, is this as good as it gets? What is he fighting for? What are we even fighting for? We are fighting for a brighter future for our son, for every God-fearing child in this island. Men live and men die. Nations rise and they fall. It was the Greek philosopher Heraclitus that once said, the only constant is change. But you know what? He was wrong. In 1913, Jim Larkin and the men and women of the Irish Transport and General Workers Union showed the world that there's one thing you can't get rid of, an idea. It is ideas of great men that shape the world we live in today. And it is only through their legacy that we can hope to achieve true freedom. Freedom from injustice, freedom from oppression, freedom from our fellow men.